Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. My name is Robin and let's do our Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. Sorry for recording the video a little late because the participant wise open interest data was not available on the NSE website. Uh, so I had to wait for the data because if you all traded today or watched the market today, uh, Nifty looks like it has changed its trend. So it is very important to uh, you know cross check with the data to see if everything is as per the move that we saw today. So before we uh, just begin with our analysis, uh, let's just check what we spoke yesterday. And so if you remember uh, yesterday's data, so both FIIs and pros, we saw that they were uh, bullish. However, uh, I told you that, you know, pros had bought both call and put. So if you see here, call is also buy and put is also buy. So usually when you see this type of data, uh, market usually is very volatile because they'll take the market down to book their puts. And then finally they'll take the market up uh, to even book their calls. So usually we can expect a market something like this. And I think uh, this is how it was. And also I told you based on FIA's uh, positions, they're expecting market to rise slightly something like this. Okay. So this was the whole and sole reason, despite uh, both the participants being bullish, I had given you uh, put buy. So I was more focused on the put buy, uh, at least in the first half. And if you remember, I also told you that Nifty and Bank Nifty both are in a reversal area uh, based on the PCR values. And everything worked perfectly well and market took support and it went and closed higher. So this is a sign where we can now say that yes, the market is turning back to bullish. So we'll analyze it further to see if uh, everything is all right or not. So this is something which I wanted to show you. And also, if you remember on my Telegram channel, I had posted you clearly that Nifty is opening right at the resistance and you should see an opportunity to short and immediately Nifty fell like anything and it recovered like anything. So this is the daily candle for Nifty. So Nifty has clearly formed a very good green candle, which shows you know, buying pressure at this area and it has finally made a very good green candle. So before we begin our analysis, let's uh, first look at the participant wise open interest. So here is the data. Okay, so this was expected, you know, both had to create a bullish position. But again, I think uh, tomorrow also market may be highly volatile. Why? If we see, uh, FIs have bought about 24,900 future and call somewhere around 30,000 and they have also bought puts which is around 15,600. So this means that market will be volatile. It is similar to what we saw in the yesterday's data which was created by the pro. They had both call long and put long and market was highly volatile and similar position has been created by the FIs for tomorrow so i'm expecting a volatile market again tomorrow and if we look at prodex position they have 9800 future shots 18000 call buy and put they have sold 16000 so fis are also bullish and pros are also bullish but because of this buying and because of uh, future short by pros and future long by FIs. I'm expecting uh, again a volatile market tomorrow. So now let's quickly check this left side area. Uh, so FIs have created 14,300 long positions on future and they have closed short positions. So that means they are bullish. And next, if we look at the call options, they have bought around 1,26,400 call options. And against it, they have only shorted about 96,000. So this is 
uh, shows they are slightly bullish in the uh, call options. And if we look at the put options, they have about 55 long and 39 short. So this is one of the reason why we have uh, the net buy of puts because they did not short much, but they have uh, created long position in put a little more than the short positions. If we look at pros, they have closed future long positions and they have created short positions. That's why we see a short number in the summary. And similarly, if we look at this, they have created 1,73 long positions in call and 1,55 short positions in call. And put, they have around 1,9,000 long positions and 1,25,000 short positions. So overall, what we can expect is uh, they are bullish, but market can be highly volatile. Okay, so we just have to be careful with that. Now let's quickly check out the open interest just to see how it is. So I'm just opening Opstra for that. So this is Nifty. So right now, if we see this entire area, that is from this particular strike, which is 18,100 to 18,400. Okay. So call writing is not that aggressive in this area. However, if you see put writing is quite aggressive. And finally, uh, we also broke 18,000 today. And if you remember, I had told you that 17,950 to 960. This is a very important area for Nifty because market did consolidate in this place nearly for two months. And we were trading below that. So today we consolidated and gave a strong breakout about uh, about this level. So now this area should act as a very good support. So any dip until this level should become a buying opportunity. So overall looking at the open interest, uh, Nifty definitely looks bullish though there are resistances, but you know, sooner or later, like maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we can definitely cross some uh, or at least a couple of resistances. And now let's quickly check Bank Nifty. Okay, so this is Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty, uh, even by looking at the price action, it still, it still looks weaker than Nifty. Okay, because Nifty moved uh, tremendously today, but Bank Nifty could not even cross the day high that was made in the morning. So if you look at Bank Nifty, uh, 40,000 has a very strong resistance. So this is 40,000 and 39,500 is also strong resistance, but you know we have seen some significant put writing today at that place. So in case Bank Nifty gaps up tomorrow, and you know, so I think immediately the 39,500 put writers would take control of this strike and maybe the call writers may have to exit and looks like bank nifty may still trade uh, within 40000 at least for this expiry but any which ways there are there is about three more days remaining so we'll check that out later so open interest wise uh, nifty looks strong bank nifty is trying to becoming uh, strong but overall bank nifty still looks weaker so now let's go to the chart and see what do we see in the chart and where do we take the position. So this is the chart and from here if you see uh, definitely Nifty has picked up and it is in an uptrend and if you remember I had told you like above this area 18,080 Nifty will actually become bullish but that doesn't mean that you know we cannot trade uh, before that so we'll look at how to trade these places so i've just activated the lines if you remember uh, yesterday also i told you that mark this trend line for both nifty and bank nifty and nifty has managed to cross this trend line today uh, i was expecting this to happen tomorrow but uh, however because of the strong up move we consolidated in the trend line and tried to close above it 
so right now what to do so tomorrow if we open flat so flat means within this area and if we immediately break this high we'll definitely go long second imagine that it opens up and it is coming down in this area no problem we will wait you know aggressive traders can buy a call option here and conservative traders can still wait for it to consolidate here and once it again breaks this particular trend line then you can go long in call options okay so what should be the target so let's quickly check that out okay, i'll just delete this and we'll also mark the targets okay so the first target uh, should be somewhere around this place. This is a very crucial area because a lot of consolidation has happened here. Okay. Uh, somewhere like this. Yeah. So this is 18,162. So this should be a target. If we open flat and break this swing, and if we if we see Nifty going higher, this should be your target. Okay, 18,160. So another 80 to 100 points move is expected. And suppose if we are coming in this area and then breaking out, uh, then also you can wait for this target but this breakout either it should happen around 10 30 am or post 12 30 pm so if anything uh, this breakout occurs within this time before 10 30 or after 12 30 you can still expect this up move until this place okay and what if uh, nifty starts coming down so if it is coming down uh, you don't have to do nothing anything because i would not expect or i would not advise to go for a put long here because there are a lot of good green candles so market may find support anywhere so it is not advisable to go for a put option until and unless this trend line breaks is when we'll plan to buy a put option okay but at the moment uh, this particular trend line seems to be uh, crucial because Nifty has managed to break this particular trend line. And the second thing is what if market or if Nifty gaps up? So if say the gap up is smaller, say that it is opening around 1800 or 18120, you don't have to do anything. Just wait for this dip and see to it that it is taking support here. And if it is forming a reversal candle here, then you can go for a call buy and your target remains the same or it may even move a little higher but i would uh, suggest you to book targets here so this should be a plan for nifty tomorrow any gap down please avoid because the market will automatically become volatile after a, such a trending up move so trading is not uh, advisable when the market is opening against the trend so now let's look at bank nifty so bank nifty as mentioned it it is just trying to becoming bullish uh, looking at nifty but by itself it is not that strong yet so when will it become stronger is again this particular trend line so say tomorrow if we open somewhere in this trend line we may see bank nifty coming down to this place and if you see that if it is spending time here and then it is breaking this trend line so this should be also before 10 30 am or after 12 30 pm if you see this breakout you can definitely go for a call option buy here so call long your immediate target would be so if it is breaking this trend line then the target can be around 39,950. Okay. Suppose if it is opening flat. 
so let's speak about a flat opening suppose it is opening flat and immediately crossing the swing high then also you can go long on the call and your first target should be somewhere around this place so this place is basically 38 700 so a 200 points up move if bank nifty is uh, you know gapping down avoid the trade until and unless this level is broken uh, or say today's low if we close below today's low wait for at least two candles which i always say wait for two candles and immediately you can go for a put long only in bank nifty but in nifty i would not suggest any put positions until and unless it breaks the trend line which may not happen immediately tomorrow it may take a couple of days if it has to change towards the downtrend again and if you see similarly in nifty uh, in bank nifty like when i say wait for two candles so what happens when a, a round number breaks so bank nifty did break 39000 so if you see here so there was a red candle which closed below 39000 it made a low of 38932 but immediately a green candle came in and immediately it recovered and start moving higher so this was the kind of moment that we were expecting from fii's a slow and steady up move you know wherein people would always be confused whether the market is going to go up or it is going to come down so this is this kind of moment that we already predicted based on their positions so i hope uh, everything is clear and we have our proper levels ready in case if i see any good trade i may you know post a message in the telegram group like i did today so thank you so much for watching uh, do subscribe the channel and share this channel with your friends and relatives whoever is interested in trading and i'll definitely come up with a lot of learning videos where people can learn trading the only thing is i'm not posting very often the learning videos because i have very less subscriber and you know once we cross 100 200 300 then i can come up with a lot of learning videos thank you so much for watching let's meet in another video tomorrow thank you bye bye